Hey guys, it's E with Scrapbooking with me. How are you? I have been busy getting ready for our Fort Worth classes, but hopefully we can get a few videos up and ready for you guys that are not going to get to attend so that you'll have something to watch. Also, I wanted to let you know that all of the classes that we will be um, teaching, we will have kits available for those classes if you want to purchase those. You do not have to come to the class. All you need to do is let me know if you want to purchase a kit. We'll put those up in the store when we get back. It will have an exclusive YouTube tutorial that you can watch right along with us making the project and you can do your project on your own with your kit. It will come with everything that the people get in the classes. So um, let us know below in the comments if you're interested in purchasing a kit from those classes. If so, we'll put your name on a list and I think I'll have probably depending on how many more sell between now and next week i'll probably have about 10 available for each class so just let me know that's all that we'll be able to take so if you want to get in line go for it okay today we're going to make a large box for one of the giveaways uh, in one of our classes we're going to stuff it full of goodies and give it away now i want to put this little disclaimer up here right in the beginning. I had someone that made a very ugly comment uh, on my last tutorial saying that I had copied somebody and that I should be ashamed of myself, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me let you guys in on a little secret. There is very few original projects out here on YouTube. Very few. <laughs> Most everything has been done before. There's very few things that are originals. But... If I do copy somebody, I try my best to give them credit if I remember who they are. A lot of times I'll watch a YouTube video that, you know, I watched a year ago and just wrote down all of the dimensions and everything. And then I might pop up on that in my little notebook. I keep a little notebook here. And I might do that, but I forgot to write down who I saw that from. I apologize if I copy anybody that don't want me to copy them. But the thing is, when we put these YouTube videos up on YouTube and I give you all these dimensions and everything, I want you to copy them. I want you to do that. I'm teaching you. I want you to be able to make this project. I don't care who copies my stuff. That's what I put it up here for. If I didn't want it to be copied, then I wouldn't give you all the dimensions. I would just show you the finished product and wouldn't give you any kind of details. So all of us who put projects up and give the details and dimensions and things like that, we are wanting you to be able to create the same things that we did. So there's no copying, stealing, anything like that as far as I'm concerned on YouTube. It's a wide open community and that's what we're here for is to teach. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and start this. Now, I do know who made this one, not originally. She copied it from somebody else. <laughs> I say copy. She got the idea from somebody else. Linda Parker is the one that I got the, the dimensions from off of her YouTube. She teaches as well, and she's like me. She, she puts the dimensions and everything out there so that you can make the things like she does. But she also got it from someone else, and then they got it from someone else. So way on down the line. But you're going to need a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, and you're going to score at four, at five and a half, at nine and a half, and at 11. And then you're going to turn it, and you're going to score at three quarter. Oops. Three quarter two and one fourth, nine and three quarters, and eleven and one fourth. Now we will have all of these measurements on our blog so you don't have to worry about writing anything down if you don't want to. So with the largest section, this is, hope you can see, let's see if we can get it to where you can see it. 
This is the largest score section here. So you have quite a few little score lines over here. Don't Not on this side, but on this side. You have a wide area right here. And then you have these little squares right there we go. There's a little square right there. And then there's a square down here. One over here. And then one up here. So those four squares you need to do a score line in from the inside right here out to the point of that square and I'll hold it up as soon as I get it scored so maybe you can see I also drew a little line in there so maybe you can see that so see from that little point right there out in that square and you're going to do that on all four of those squares so you're going to come from the point like this is your inside you're going to come from here out so start right there and come out start right here and come out and then I always start at the inside and come out to the point Okay, so you see, you see that line? Hopefully that will, you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it once we cut some things away. Now we're going to do some cutting. So hold it with this big section. This is that big scored section down here at the bottom. And you're going to cut away these two boxes right here. There's one here and one here. You're going to cut those away. And that is right beside that little box that you scored in. So see, there's the box you scored in. You cut those two away. Then you're going to go up here and you're going to cut these two away. Like that. Then you're going to cut this little box right here. Now here's the square that we scored in and we're going to cut this little box right here away. Okay. Then you're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So see how that is? You're going to do that over here as well. Okay, now let me get a shot of this and I'll put this on my blog so that you can see exactly how that looks. Okay. And now we just need to do some folding and burnishing. So fold and burnish all your score lines. I'm going to erase my pencil lines here. And if you don't have one of these erasers, they're absolutely wonderful. We have those in the store and I'll link them below. Now we're going to fold these back and score them. And the way I do that is just I fold it in like that. 
bring it down and then just press it and burnish it so you see that little side so do all four like that Now we want to do some rounding of the corners, a few corners here. So we want to round these corners on the, each side here. So So just fold that over, lay it down, and then you can stick that in your corner rounder and round it. And I'm going to clip this off just a little bit more. Right there. And then just lay this one over. Do the same thing. And then go to the other side and you're going to round those. And then we're going to round these right here on this end. It's going to be our little lip that's going to close the box up, so we need those rounded. There we go. So we have all of that done. Okay, so we're going to put some mats down first before we put the box together. So you have one there, one here one there and one there. Now these on each side are three and one half by one and one eighth. And then these on either end are seven by one and one eighth. And then you have one for the center and it is seven by three and a half. So that's where you're going to put those down. Okay, and this paper is out of the paper pack Mad for Plaid. Isn't it cute? I love it. We are shipping art glitter glue again. If you don't live in a, an area that is still freezing, if you live in an area that you're still having a lot of freezing weather, then we're not shipping it there. We can't ship it overseas right now or out of the country because it is still freezing in a lot of the ports and a lot of the areas so but if you live in the south then you can go ahead and order we have got that back up on the website so stock up while you can hopefully all of our freezing weather is gone I hope so I hope all the flu season's gone I'm tired of the flu okay I thought this paper looked really cute with this. And right there. Okay. So there is that. Okay, and then we're going to put one right here. I covered the top and the bottom on mine. You don't have to. And then these two are the same size as you can see. Alright, so you have all your mats on. And now what you're going to do is just bring these sides up like that. Kind of fold that in just a little bit. Lay that over on top of those sides. And then you're just going to slide this right inside that. First time, a little touchy. It don't want to go. But after you put it in there a couple of times, it works. 
So there's your box. Now again, we'll put that together one more time so that you can see. Bring these sides up. They have these little flaps on them and lay the flaps straight like this. Fold these in. Fold these in. And then just bring this over at that fold line and just lay it on top of those side pieces. And then you see how you have these little pieces right here? You're just going to put this flap inside that and close it up. Just like that. So there you go. A nice, neat box. And now we're going to put a little die cut on the top. And we have these dies in the shop. And I think I'm going to cut this out and just put it on the top as some decoration. So let me run and cut this out and I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with this die. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? There's your die. And look how that cut. I love it. That's going to look so cute on top of this box. But you know, I think I might cut it two or three more times so it'll have a little bit of dimension. So let me cut this a couple more times and give it a little bit of dimension and then I will be back and put that down. Okay, here we are with all of our cute butterflies. And I'm going to glue these together so that they'll be more dimensional. So there we go. There is that box. Cute as it can be. And I'm going to fill this with goodies for the uh, made it con. Alright, so there is another box for our retreat that we'll be giving away some goodies inside. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will put Linda's link below and then I think she's got a link on hers where she got the idea. So if you're interested, you can go over and watch hers as well. Like I said, all of these measurements and the photos will be on my blog and that link will be directly below. We will talk to you guys later. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.